All right, welcome back to episode 37. And because I could not go this many episodes without inciting a potential flame war, uh, we're going to talk about point-free code. Um, or point-free style, I guess, is, is probably a more um, appropriate term. Um, and this is something that is uh, somewhat controversial. Um, but what I want to do is I want to look at the same code that we saw on the last video. And I want to explain what point free is because it's a term you might hear um, and uh, some people will strive for this sort of code and other people will say that it's bad practice. I'll leave it to you uh, to decide which side you fall under. So this is the same code that we saw uh, from yesterday um, or from episode 36. So we have exclaim and you notice in exclaim we're saying that exclaim is a value that is that takes an x and returns an x plus the exclamation mark. So we're defining that x here is an argument of some sort. Um, and because of our um, uh, comment above, we see that we're taking a string and returning a string. And you notice that shout is almost the same way. But if we look at yell, yell is composing exclaim and shout together. But if you look at the signature that I've given yell, it takes a string and returns a string. But I haven't defined that yell has any arguments. And that's precisely what point free is. So point free style, uh, you don't necessarily have to define your arguments. And the reason that you don't have to define your arguments is because in this case anyway, what we've done is we've composed together two different functions. So the fact that yell must take a string is due to the fact that exclaim, is due to the fact that yell is the composition of exclaim and shout. And because exclaim, if we look up here, takes a string and returns a string, and because shout does the same thing, we say that yell has the function definition or the type definition of string to string. I mean, you see here as if we were to yell hello, then we would still get what we had before. But this sort of style is known as point free. Now, is it more difficult to understand what this function, that, that yell is a function? Perhaps. I, I don't want to argue that, but what I will say is that yes, it can be somewhat more complex to determine um, what the signature for that method is, uh, assuming we didn't have these uh, completely arbitrary uh, comments here. Um, I would agree with that. But what I think is interesting is, is we're saying what yell is. Yell is the composition of exclaim and shout. Shout is a function which, when given an x, will take whatever that x is to uppercase. So it's a little bit of a different mindset about what we're doing and, and how we're defining this code. We're saying that yell is this thing, and this is how we shout stuff. So it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, I'll leave it to you to decide which one you like, which one you dislike. Um, at first, I didn't like com uh, compose at all. Um, as I have gotten much more into this sort of style, um, I like it more and more. Um, and if you think about it, it makes some sense because to build a big program, what we want to be able to do is to take a lot of small programs and combine them together. And why do we want to do that? Because small programs are much easier to prove. We can prove that they are correct, um, that they do what we expect them to do because they're small little things. They're easy to understand. And if we can take a whole lot of small little things that are all uh, pure and correct and we can compose them all together, then we can be certain that the bigger program that we build of all these small little pieces is itself correct. Um, and that's part of what you can get from point three. Now, we could absolutely write this yell without doing that, um, but the chaining and things like that, it would start looking really, really imperative because in this case we're dealing with a string. Um, so maybe in the next episode, what we'll look at is how could we write this yell function um, still doing a function chaining kind of thing rather than being um, imperative, um, but to still chain functions together uh, dealing with the string. So maybe that's what we'll look at next time with the identity monad. Um, once again, this has been episode 37. That's what point free is. Notice yell here does not define any arguments that it accepts. Yet, because it's the composition of these two functions, it must return a function that takes a string and returns a string.
Thanks very much.